you had a chance to read this particular article. It's a PDF on the homepage at Rents. It's entitled The Abomination of Desolation America, written by James Roger Brown. Uh, James Roger Brown is new to the program. Uh, he has uh, accomplished a great deal of uh, very eclectic and unusual things in his life. Uh, he maintains a, a very low but important profile in certain areas. Let me read just a little bit of his bio for you. James Roger Brown, sociologist, intelligence collection, and analysis methodologist. He has been called by some the most dangerous mind in North America. His general field is sociology of knowledge with specializations in the sociology of intelligence operations. Good luck with that. Cultural reality models and how cultures define and relate to the spiritual world. Roger has tested Joseph Campbell's conclusion that the spiritual traditions of all cultures are attempts to describe the same spiritual world by determining if what they identify as teachable and learnable spiritual skills can be learned. In the intelligence field, Roger has developed the most advanced methodology that currently exists. Responding to requests to address various intelligence system inadequacies identified by World War II intelligence professionals interviewed for his master's thesis on World War II international intelligence operations, James Roger Brown developed the following. One, a theory which allows social processes to be described mathematically using neural structures as the unit of analysis that can be applied to any species with a central nervous system. That is wild. Number two, reverse engineer the intelligence collection and analysis system and a key technical specification of the ET species conducting the catch and release human in abductions. And that's the best way to phrase that up. Catch and release human abductions. And three, contradictory hypotheses testing protocols with a near zero error rate for intelligence analysis and criminal investigation evidence analysis as a more reliable alternative to the inherently high error rate contrary hypothesis testing currently used by all law enforcement and intel agencies. Uh, he's got a lot more uh, to his bio, but just to give you an idea that this man is, is, is quite substantial, the article up there again uh, is to be found in guests right under his name, James Roger Brown, The Abomination of Desolation America. It's a PDF. Welcome to the program, Roger. Thank you. I'm ready to go. I've got on my social ghillie suit. Oh, okay. Speaking to you from the freshly snow-covered bushes of Appalachia. Constantly snow-covered, uh, <laughs> just about, from what I've been reading. Pretty yes, bad back close there. close to it. Yeah. Well, my friend, when did you get started in all of this? What uh, were you doing in life that led you into such an eclectic field? And it is that, and you have made some serious inroads. Well, believe it or not, it started um, down this road with an experience in basic training when I was in the Army. Mm -hmm. I and um, another gentleman were called out of our company formation one morning, sent to the Post Theater, where there were gentlemen dressed in civilian clothes who mm -hmm. gave us this spiel about um, wanting us to become White House switchboard operators. This was during the Nixon administration. Wait, wait, because, wait. Were they being tongue-in-cheek about this, or they actually... Well, they, they get get to the good part later. All right, go ahead. Um, they go through the spiel about, you know, we get to wear civilian clothes, maximum pay allowance, mm -hmm. get to live off post. Mm -hmm. And then, after he told us all the benefits, he said, we're going to take a 15-minute break, and if you want to know what this is really about... Uh, come back, and you'll have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, I see what they were doing. All right. Yeah. The the other gentleman and I from the company uh, declined the opportunity and returned to our company. Mm -hmm. I was greeted by a senior drill sergeant when I signed into the company, 
with a hair-raising tone of voice, so you decided not to go to Washington, huh? And wow. I actually had trouble after that. My M16 miraculously malfunctioned when I was on the firing range, which almost got me court-martialed. And after I got out, I had my congressman look into what happened. Nixon was attempting to recruit members into an army unit uh -huh. personally loyal to him. If you recall, uh, there was a story back then that he had designed this uh, Prussian-style uh, military uniform for a White House guard. You know, I remember that, and it was laughed at in the media because well, it was, he was serious. 19th century. But he was serious. He was serious, and um, what I found out was that the people that were recruited into this mm -hmm. became the core of the DEA, and they were the doofuses that originally uh, started oh. and were notorious for raiding the wrong farmhouse out in the country and yeah. doing other incompetent stuff. No, I remember that uniform uh, fiasco. Uh, Nixon actually put it forward, and it was it was 19th century uh, Hollywood central casting. That's what it looked like. Yes. It, and he it was, was actually uh, going to have these people dressed up like this. Uh, James Roger Brown writes, Obama is America's Pol Pot, and his entire administration is a killing machine for Americans, just as Pol Pot was for Cambodia. I would not disagree with that. Well, there's a lot more in common, and in fact, I wanted to start with the medical, middle article, which is the Pol Pot article, because it lays the foundation for the third one on the Mm -hmm. um, the, the abomination the killing, killing uh, system uh, you know it's funny you're on the program I've been saying for quite some time simply they kill people uh, meaning the very people you're writing about and they do all the time well I as you might suspect I've had a number of efforts to shut me down mm -hmm. um, three of them in the in the last uh, last year I haven't had to deal with one yet this year, but I expect it soon. Um, getting back to the similarities between Barack Obama and Paul Pot, uh, both of them you could describe as community organizers. Both of them led revolutions that overthrow uh, current government structures. Uh -huh. Both turned government into... Uh, death machines to kill those not deserving to live, which were, in the case of Obamacare, the, the medical uh, definitions of uh, those who should receive treatment and those not. not receive. They have their own uh, very loose uh, triage overlay that they've uh, uh, carved out and, and placed over all of us. Yeah, you, it's it's really disgusting, and, and it's outrageous beyond... Uh, I, can, I can't describe it, but you're right, 100%. Go ahead. Well, both of them destroyed their nation's medical infrastructure to expedite killing people using ah, other means. Ah, yeah, right. Both of them destroyed the nation's news and information distribution systems main target yep. yes we just lost control of the uh, internet as a means of distributing information mm -hmm. and both took direct control of the economy labor food land and resources uh obama through the the various executive orders that he has in place oh dictatorial decrees yes absolutely um now, that, that leads into the final article, which is um, um, Black Dawn, I titled the article, um, because it, it does resemble uh, Red Dawn, the movie. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that instead of um, Army, Barack Obama has orchestrated a multi-disease biological attack on the United States. 
to add a new term to people's <clears throat> um, word base, you need to write on your hand or forehead or make a note somewhere so you never forget it, human disease vector. A disease vector is any organism that transmits a disease mm -hmm. to another organism. And what I'm going to talk about is in the rest of this um, is not the result of any political ideology. It is not some harebrained brain scheme that I came up with. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to um, have some understanding of health law in order to see what is going on. If you don't have that background, uh, as most people have totally missed the significance of this. Mm -hmm. But Barack Obama has encouraged individuals from all over the world with unknown diseases, known diseases, and brought them here and scattered them around the United States. All around the, all around the country. Let me, if I might just interrupt for, for a few seconds. Uh, Dr. Patricia Doyle uh, was the first to discover the so-called uh, Phoenix Air Charter uh, Air Ambulance, or BSL-4 Air Ambulance is what they are, and she tracked them uh, eventually to the extent that the government, uh, whoever runs the tracking service for airplanes, you can look up an airplane, find out where it's going, where it's been, uh, had to start obfuscating and, and uh, otherwise uh, camouflaging, uh, just completely camouflaging the flight paths of some of these planes. They went back and forth from Africa to here, back and forth to Georgia, uh, to Dakar, uh, from Maryland uh, to Dakar, from Omaha to Dakar. Uh, one, or, one or two went to the, uh, the South Pacific and then up to Alaska and then down. They were ferrying people, and still are, with Ebola. Who are these people? What happens to them? And now we have uh, 36 different hospitals designated as Ebola-ready hospitals. Uh, so there's a lot going on with this whole thing that we'll never know about, probably never know about. E the Ebola epidemic has been weird from the beginning. The uh, biosafety uh, lab over there, BSL-4, allegedly it could have been a five, lab over there in West Africa is widely thought by those who look into this as being the genesis of this, the current but rapidly mutating Ebola virus. And I will stop talking here. Go ahead. Well, whenever people hear Obama refer to the dreamers coming to America, uh, think of this acronym, Disease Redistribution Eliminating America's Mindless Eating Redundant Stooges. Oh, that's you. That's, that is uh, the majority, not this audience, but uh, you got it, and that's wild. Uh, Dr. Doyle has been talking about uh, the illegals bringing in, being brought in here, being vectored in here with any number of diseases. You can talk about uh, Chagas, which is now inf probably infected six to 700,000 Americans, leprosy, non-treatable and otherwise uh, MDR uh, tuberculosis and other va viruses, bacteria, all, a whole plethora of diseases are being brought in here by the dreamers. You're right. Well, this biological attack on the United States is a slow motion version of 9-11 with the same pattern of government protection processes shut down so it can happen unopposed perfect perfectly stated absolutely